Hello and welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and American citizen and today we are talking about official UK titles. Now, the topic of this video is inspired by the sponsor of today's video, which is Highland Titles, and I'll get into more of what they do in a minute, but I wanted to really talk about like the differences of why does the UK have so many different titles? You've got the nobility titles, you've got knighthoods, you've got you know, Earl, Duke, Lord, Lady. In the US, we don't really have uh, anything in comparison. In the US, you're sort of just your name. You might be a Mr., Miss, Mrs., um, Doctor, whatever that goes in front of your name, but you don't have the same level of, uh, of titles by ranking that they do in the UK. Now, a lot of this comes down to the differences between the two places in terms of the importance of the class system. This isn't to say that the US doesn't have a class system, but in the UK it is much stronger um, and the differentiation differentiation, is that the right word, um, between different people based on their uh, inheriting of a title or the family they were born into or land ownership is far more important in the UK than it is in the US. Now, in the UK, there is a ranking system for these titles um, and each one has a different way of going about getting it. So for example, you can't be the king or the queen unless you are the actual monarch. There is no other way around it. You cannot buy your way into it. You cannot purchase an absurd amount of land and become it. You simply have to have it by way of being born into the British royal family and basically, according to them, being the chosen one. Now, a duke, for instance, is another British nobility term, and they're going to rank below the monarch. Then you've got something like an earl, who's even further down the line, still a member of the British nobility, but they're going to be further away from the crown. There are also viscounts. Uh, there's over 270 of them in the UK, and again, another inherited title, but at this point you are getting further and further away from that kind of immediate uh, royal family. Then you have something like the knighthood. Now, the knighthood is not inherited. The knighthood is bestowed upon you by the monarch. But to become a knight is not an easy process in the UK. You first have to be recommended by somebody who is already a knight or is part of the British nobility. And from there, uh, you really just have to have made a huge lasting impact on your specific area, whether that's education, culture, music, sport in the UK. If you've done enough and the monarch and people who help make these decisions believe that you are worthy of a knighthood, then you are knighted by the monarch uh, themselves and become part of the order of the British Empire. And it is funny talking about all of this because to an American, this really does seem like something possibly out of a film or a, uh, a medieval document, but this is still um, the rankings and the titles used in the UK today, including knighthoods. Now let's talk about another title you can have, which is Lord or Lady. This dates back to 1066 when William the Conqueror actually divided up parts of his land, gave them to some of his barons and made them lords. Becoming a lord or a lady in the UK is slightly easier than some of the other titles because for one, it doesn't require you to uh, either be born into or marry into the British royal family, um, but it's not easy. There are three main ways that you can become a lord or a lady. And the first one is by inheriting the title or by marrying into the title. The second is by being appointed to the House of Lords. Now, I'm not gonna underestimate my YouTube audience, I believe in all of you, but good luck with that. Um, and the third is actually purchasing a title, which is the Lord of the Manor title. And this can be extremely, extremely expensive. Then you've got another word, which is layered. And I know in my American accent, this might sound funny. I have spent a lot of time on the internet looking up exactly how to say this correctly. Um, but in my accent, it would be layered. Um, and this is going to have to do with Scotland. So in Scotland, the title of Laird isn't associated with the nobility, but instead it's associated with land ownership in Scotland. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which I'm super excited about. We've got an entire um, unboxing section, but first let me tell you about them. Our sponsor today is a really cool gift company called Highland Titles. 
They've been around for about 17 years and they can help you skip all the hard stuff and have the title of Lord or Lady for only around 30 pounds. The way they do this is by allowing you to purchase a plot of their existing Scottish estate. This then makes you a landowner in Scotland. While it's not an official title under Scottish law, you can use Laird, Lord, or Lady in your everyday life. Some people do even uh, change their names on certain documents um, in order to go along with their new title. It is a fun novelty gift that comes with the title, but it also comes with the actual land that's part of their nature reserve. So giving a gift like this or buying it for yourself actually helps preserve the Scottish countryside. Um, they own the land as a nature reserve, so when you purchase your title, you are helping to go back towards preserving nature in Scotland. Um, and it's rated as one of the best nature reserves in Scotland by TripAdvisor. You can physically visit this nature reserve at any time. You can actually go and see your plot of land. Now, the way to get one is to visit highlandtitles.com. It's a really good idea for Valentine's Day, which is coming up, as well as birthdays. My birthday is also coming up, so thank you, Highland Titles, for this combo gift. Um, you can also get couples plots. So my husband and I got a couples plot, which is a side-by-side -side plot of land in the nature reserve. Now, once you've ordered your uh, gift receiver or yourself, get this. Let me just block out my last name on here um you get this amazing gift pack which we're gonna open together i haven't opened it yet because i want to open it with you on camera but you get this you get online access to the dashboard which lets you look at actually pictures of your specific plot of land and you get a personalized certificate that i believe we will discover in just a second now i do have a discount code if you think this is a great gift for someone in your life or for yourself no judgment um i have a discount code which is ggl20 uh follow the link in the description box below to get to their site and that will give you 20 percent off of anything you buy on there now let's open my lord lady laird gift pack experience love the packaging Okay, so what do we have? Drum roll, please. This has been sitting staring at me for two days now. And I, oh, you guys. Okay, so we've got a Highland Titles Everlasting Gift of Scottish Land. It already feels fancy. Open it up. Oh, no. Okay. Oh my goodness, where do we even start? Okay, so this is a couples pack. I've got a card, everyone, that states that I am a lady. Um, okay, so here's what we've got going on here. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, here we go. How do I do this? Okay, so here's my card. Let's see if you can see. Lady Kaylin, yes, please. Okay, so this is the card. It says, this card certifies Lady Kaylin, my last name, is the owner of land in Glencoe Wood. You guys, does it get better than this? I may now assume the title of Lady of Glencoe, gladly. Um, and it has the plot coordinates for my actual plot. And I can use this card when I visit my plot, everybody. So we have, I'm a Lord or I'm a Lady um stickers love those put them on your car put them on your laptop put them on really anything where you want people to know how important you are i also have some highland title stickers now gosh this is heavy with importance oh my goodness okay so we have a oh my gosh there's a whole certificate okay so i've got lady and lord of glencoe contracts to show me that Highland Titles is giving me my plot of land. Um, and again, let's see. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Love that. We've actually got two because this is a couples pack. Um, and I also have a letter that says, congratulations on receiving your plot of land and on joining the Lairds, Lords, and Ladies of Glencoe. Um, and we have some information about Highland Titles and where they started. Um, guys, this is amazing. I can 
it gives me the login information for my plot. I really want to go visit my plot now. Um, what else do we have? So then we have, oh, I mean, even this, look at this, look at this. So then I have a handbook, which is the final thing in the pack. <gasps> wow. I'm now the proud owner of Scottish land. Conserving Scotland one square foot at a time. So again, this is uh, a novelty gift. You do not actually become an official lord or lady under Scottish law, but you help preserve land across Glencoe. And as someone who has been to Glencoe, I can tell you it is worth preserving in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, so it talks about your different Highlands experience, how you can come see your plot, um, information about your titles, frequently asked questions. Can you build on your land? Unfortunately not. Um, that's okay though, because this is for preserving Scottish nature, not for your own selfish desires to build across the countryside. Um, there are no hidden charges, no taxes, gives information about finding your plot, visiting your plot. Um, if you change your name, what happens? All this kind of stuff. Okay, so there you have it. The Highland Titles gift pack. I'm very excited to now call myself a lady. Um, again, if you're interested in checking this out or getting it as a gift for somebody who loves Scotland or would love a title, um, check in the comments and description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.